Javon, Coach Smart talked yesterday about you know figuring out where you fit best in the secondary and trying to decide that through camp. When you look at safety, how much more comfortable do you feel there now compared to the start of spring when you're trying to learn the ropes and, and just how far you feel like you've come there? Um, I feel like I've come pretty far, actually. Um, I, like I said, I'm under great leadership in Coach Smart and Coach Muschamp. Um, those guys do a, a great job of helping you. Um, we call them nuggets across the field, helping you really just kind of not cheat the system, but play within the system to the best of your ability. Um, those guys do a great job of helping me um, learn, coming in uh, day in and day out learning, um, learning more about football, learning more about the game and how to make plays that are supposed to be made and how to make plays, honestly, that aren't even really supposed to be made, but how to really just be a high caliber player at that position. Um, I feel very comfortable. Um, it's still a defensive back. It's not like I moved a D-line or anything like that. So, um, like I said, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable about Yeah, Javon, I know, I know you've moved forward from last year, but the, the Big Ten at large and Ohio State can't seem to get over the play that you made in the, national, in the uh, semifinal game. How many times have you watched the replay yourself? And I guess if you can you know, tell us what, going, reflecting back on that moment, you know, what did that play mean to you? Because I, I think that's kind of a play that's probably going to stand the test of history. Uh, I'm going to be honest. That play happened in December. Do you still talking about it? That's really not my fault. Um, <laughs> uh, I, we moved on from that. We played a game after that. Uh, we've gone into another season. That play's over, man. Uh, to be honest, I don't really have too much to say about that. It's over. It's done with. We're looking on and preparing ourselves to camp. Yeah, Javon. Javon Dumas Johnson was obviously a vocal leader for you guys last year. How have you seen him grow and potentially even take on a bigger role for this team going into 2023? This defense is not the same without Javon. We call him Pop. Um, this defense is not the same without him. Um, he's the voice. Um, um, as a middle linebacker, you have to take on that role. It's something that does uh, we don't take lightly. And he's he's been under great leadership uh, years prior to him getting here. So, uh, like I said, his big shoes. Um, but he, he's taking on that role, and he's in, he bra he embraces it. Um, he comes in work day in and day out. Uh, a close friend of mine and a, a guy that I look up to on the defense that we have to be on the same page. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm excited for his future and the things that he's going to help us do this season. Oh, Javon, um, when we were talking to Chris Smith uh, at uh, the pro day, he brought up your name and, and – brought up a guy, a guy that I was a little surprised by, but uh, Janelle, uh, despite being a freshman, is someone that can step up as a big leader. I mean, what have you seen from Janelle, both as an athlete, but then also stepping up as a leader, despite just being so young? Uh, as far as leadership roles, um, I feel like you got to kind of come in and kind of follow a little bit to be a leader. Um, but as far as like his capabilities, um, Janelle's a freak athlete, man. Um, and you see it on a day-to-day -day basis. The guy, the guy shows flashes in uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and in practice. Um, really, just a playmaker, and and, and I feel like you're going to see it throughout um, this fall. Um, it really has still uh, still has a lot to learn, but um, this this is what the defense to do so in. Um, this, this defense teaches you a lot about football, um, and Joe is going to be a, a great player here. So I'm excited for his future as well. You've been known as a, a playmaker yourself. You talk about making plays on the ball. Moving a little bit further back from the origination to starting point of the ball to safety from start to safety, have you noticed any differences in your ability to get the spots on the field where we might be able to impact the football? Uh, really, for me, I like to study the game a lot. Um, the angles, you move back deeper in the defense, the angles start to change. You have to slow yourself down sometimes. Uh, and it's crazy you talk about slowing down on the football field, but those are the things that uh, make great players great players. You look at uh, the Ed Reeves, the Troy Palomalos, those guys took the time out to actually study the game. Um, from the safety position, and that's why they're one of the great players. So um, I try to take uh, the little key things um, in my game and try to enhance them, take them to the next level, uh, like angles toward the ball, uh, middle field breaks, a lot of things that I have to get better at. Um, just uh, my level of conditioning, um, you have to, you're the last line of defense, um, really. So um, you have to run to the ball every play, and that's every position, but especially at safety. Um, but those are things that I need to work on. Those are things that I try to enhance better in my game. And as far as making plays, I feel like uh, the coaching staff does a great job of putting us in the best position to be successful within the defense. So uh, along with you know, some of my God-given ability and their um, expertise in the game, um, I really feel like we can uh, make a lot of plays this year.
Yeah, this this is kind of along the same lines, but it it, it sounds like you you've kind of stuck at safety. I, I mean, do you anticipate that being an exclusive thing going forward and into the season? Uh, it's really all on the plans of the coaching staff. I I, I play whatever position they put me at. Um, that's just my love for the game, and and, and I, I embrace it, man. Um, we pride ourselves on versatility. You come in here, you don't think you're just playing one position. Um, the more versatile you are, the more. Um, value you add to yourself. So uh, I take pride in that, um, learning more positions. Hell, I try to learn my linebacker if I could, but uh, um, just really just embracing that and, and taking on that role. Um, not It's not about you, it's about the team. So whatever the team needs um, at that moment, at that game, um, I, I feel free to step in and fit wherever I see. Uh, Javon, you spoke a little bit about the guys like Ed Reed, Troy Palomalu. Who are some guys, uh, current or former, uh, in the NFL or in other aspects of the sport, that you kind of try to model your game after? Uh, well, my favorite player is Tyron Matthew. Um, I love the mindset. Um, I was just watching Buda Baker last night. Great player. Like, I, I love guys that are similar to myself, not probably bigger guys in statue, but uh, great players. Um, um, all the time, probably Ed Reed. Um, that's just guys that have a knack and a love for the game. I, 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 I'm not going to lie. Like, if you don't love football, you, you really can't be here. And you really can't be around me because I, I take a lot of pride in this game. I take a, this game has done a lot for me, and I, I hope to God and pray that it continues to do a lot for me. And like I just take a lot of pride in this game. I love this game. It means a lot to me. So uh, just those guys, and of course I had uh, leaders that came through here, like Chris Smith, Louis Seen. Those are guys that I looked to, up, excuse me, looked up to for a while. So um, really just trying to follow in those guys' footsteps and, and build a, a a great foundation and legacy for myself as well. Javon, that pride certainly showed when you were playing that dime position so well, making plays, tackles. Now you're looked to be going back. Who 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 are you looking forward to to sort of hold that mantle that you established last year down there? Uh, whoever gets the job done. To be honest with you, uh, I don't I don't point out single players. That's it's not my it's not my job, and it's really not my position to do so. Um, but we have a lot of great players in the DB room that can take that, you know what I'm saying, that can fill in that position. Taki Smith is a great player, all-American guy, stand-up guy. Can't wait to see him ball out this year. We have Joe Nell. Like, we have so many other guys that can step in and, and, and play great Georgia football. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the guys that will buy in and step up and play great football within our defense and within our standard. Um, like we have a saying, if you're on the field, you're a starter. It doesn't matter who's in. You step on that field, we expect you to produce. I spoke to one of your former high school teammates, Dexter Ricks Jr., uh, and he just kind of talked about, he mentioned the term bald and tough. Just what does that mean to you, and just what did y'all both learn under Coach Hicks while y'all were there as y'all both playing college football now? Uh, grit, man, just grit. You got, you got to get it. You know, you don't have all the resources that maybe other schools might have, but if you love this game, you'll do whatever it takes. You'll do whatever it takes to get in the position that you want to get in. And and I love DJ to death, man. I, I, st I just talked to him like five minutes ago. It's crazy. But uh, uh, just being brought up like that, man, it, it helps mold you in not only into a great football player, but as a great man in general. Um, things are not going to go your way all the time. You're going to get, you're going to have ups and downs, trials and tribulations, but what are you going to do about it? You're going to sit in mope or you're going to take it on the head and keep pushing. So I feel like that's what ball one tough means to me. Um, and Coach Hicks is, uh, is a perfect example of that. He had great leadership for us and is a guy that I still love and talk to to this day, so I'm thankful for him. Yeah, Javon, I, I know you don't like to talk too much about yourself, but I mean, you've got the, the, the Buckeye Crunch cookie dough. You've got Kirby <laughs> Smart saying you're a stick of dynamite. I mean, where, where, did this, where did this hitting propensity come from? How early? And can you explain the mindset that separates your hitting ability maybe from others that we've seen? I don't really know what goes on in other people's heads when they play in the sport, but this game is physical. This place is physical. Um, we just had a practice in spiders. It still was physical, you know, uh, and, and it's always going to be like that. That's not because um, of the certain players that are here. It's just the standard that we withhold within this organization. This place is physical. It was physical before I got here. It's going to be physical after I leave. So. Um, just the physicality that, that we bring, and I pride myself on that. Um, this game is physical. It's never going to change. Um, and you have to have that certain edge, that physicality. Um, you, some guys aren't as big as others. You know, you got to have that, that certain swagger and that certain ego about yourself, not in a bad way, but 
of a sense that, you know, you step on the field, this is this is the game that I love, and this is the game that I'm, you know what I'm saying, going to continue to play. So, uh, like, it's just passion, man. It's passion and energy. I, like I said um, um, earlier, I, I love this game. I love this game, and um, really just that's that's what you see on the field um, when I when I try to play, you know what I'm saying, at my best, uh, just really just this passion and energy. Yeah, you mentioned instincts, making plays on the ball, you know, what film and that stuff. How much of that is just film study, that kind of things, and how much is something you're born with and just natural instincts that let you make plays on the field? Um, I really don't know, you know what I'm saying, the percentages of that, but I take pride in watching film um, to answer your question. I take pride in watching film. I feel uh, that football intelligence is one of the vital pieces that make good players, great players. Um, when you can anticipate things happening before they even happen, that, that's the difference between a PBU and an interception. And, and I take pride in things like that. Like I said, it's all about, this game is about inches. You know, I've seen players, um, teams lose games through inches and win games through inches. So just one, one false step can cause me an interception or one false step can cause a player to catch a ball on me. So I take pride in that and um, I don't take no, um, Nothing away from the man upstairs, man. I'm, I'm blessed and fortunate to be able to make the plays that I make and do the things that I do. And I show an immense amount of gratitude for that because not everybody can, you know what I'm saying, not everybody can play at this level. And, I, and I'm so blessed and grateful to be able to do so. Javon, you look at this year's defense, you know, several starters from last year going on in the NFL. Over these next few weeks in fall camp, what do you guys on defense need to do, need to accomplish to, to be able to be success, successful once you get into the season? Um, me personally, I want really just right now, I, I just want us to play as a team, play together. Um, simple things uh, that make defenses, great defenses. Get a call, give a call, um, run to the ball, be the best condition, be in shape, um, be physically dominant. Those are the things that help us win football games, and those are the things that we need to do in order to get to the places that we want to go. Um, so continue to just learn, keep learning. We have to come in here with a um, a learning attitude, we're never too good to learn. Um, our coach just said, our defense coordinator just said that he's going to learn something every day that he didn't know the day before. So if a guy that's been coaching 29 years can still learn something, I'm pretty sure that everybody on this defense can learn something as well. So uh, like I said, and we have to take pride in that. We have to own up to it. And, and we have to really just embrace it and, and pass it around. Hopefully, hopefully it can be contagious.